Hello, my name's Stuart Wright. Welcome to Frightfest TV. Thank you very Please much. Please tell us your name and your role in the movie I'm Monsters. Um, <laughs> my name is Nicholas Vince. There is only no, that's not true. There are more. There is more than one role. I'm the main role in I. You am are Iron Monster. I am Iron Monster. Let's let's not beat around the bush. No, no, that's it. There is me, and then there's some wonderful people who support who lent their voices. Now. We're here for the world premiere, so let's dwell on that for a second. Yeah. Now, I was fortunate enough to see you in the one-man show at the London Horror Society. Yeah. But we're at the we're at the Cine World Leicester Square. It's a world premiere. How does yes. that feel? So it's, it's London Horror Festival. Sorry. We're London Horror Festival where we premiered. Um, really good. I think the thing that I loved about the one-man show is it's me chatting to an audience for 50 minutes. Mm. Being able to translate that into film is a challenge because it's a, it's a very personal show. Mm. It's me telling stories about my life. It's me being an idiot. It's me doing silly jokes. Um, I always thought that was going to be a challenge mm. to be able to and to hold people's attention for 70 minutes. Uh, I, I always thought, but I have to say, I'm really pleased because people were laughing in all the right bits. They were being quiet in the right bits. They were going all in the right bits as well. So mm. I was really pleased that we managed to set it up because it's not just a filming of the stage show. We did film the stage show, that we, we drop in and out of that stage show. Yeah. But there's an animation from Ashley Lawrence uh, and, uh, and a wonderful score by Mitch Payne and so on. So there's lots of different things that yeah. we brought to make it a film film. Yeah. So when, when you do such an intense look back on who you were, I think it's safe to say, mm. and then reflect on it, as who you are now. Mm. What do you think you learned about yourself? I think more than anything else is not to be afraid. I, I, it's kind of a cliche, but I think it's important not to be afraid of the fact that I am monsters. Yeah. I think that there are many philosophies that teach us that if you have a bad thought, you are a bad person mm. and you're there. My thesis is that we are all bad people. We all have bad thoughts. Yeah. It's whether or not we act on them, and it's acknowledging that fact and learning how to deal with that fact, which I think is really, really important. So what I'm hoping is that I Am Monsters is about is about having a dialogue with yourself. And also by doing, say at the end of the film, you know, by looking at my own darkness and you can understand other people's darkness and I think when you understand people's fear, their loneliness, yeah. their anger, then you can have dialogue with Yeah, because in, in a way, it's, it's on the one hand, it's, it's confessional because mm. you're literally telling us the story, but yeah. also that's quite liberating for all of us as well. Well, that's what I'm hoping, you know, that's what I, it's like, let's talk about the fact that they're monsters and the, you know, we need to deal with that, mm. and then actually, I think, kind of, I think sometimes celebrate it as well. I think that's what I think horror films are about. Yeah. Horror theatre, horror films, horror novels, and so on. There is an essence of saying, "Yeah, you're, let's celebrate the fact." I don't mean let's celebrate I'm a serial killer. Not saying that at all. Mm. What I'm saying is like, but let's celebrate the strange, the weird, the dark, all these different things yeah. that we are. And. Obviously, for a fright for the Frightfest TV audience, mm. they're gonna they're gonna know you're not for this face. Uh -huh. They're gonna know you for Chatterer. They're gonna know you for Kinski. Yes. Given us a little in, a little insight into the into the documentary, the one man show. Do you want to tell the Frightfest audience how you got to be called poor bastard on the Paul show? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, when I was uh, working on Hellraiser, I went to the studios of Image Animation in Hollywood, and. I, I remember walking in and looking at this little shed, like a little shed, it's a fairly substantial building. The guy saying, opening the door, I'm Nick Vince, I'm here for a live cast. And being introduced to Bob Keane, who was the head of Image Animation. And he just said, 
So you're the poor bastard. You're not going to be able to see very much. And I remember he put his fist in the middle of my forehead and said, he said, that's all you're going to be able to see. And he was exaggerating. I couldn't even see that much. <laughs> well, look, thank you very much for joining us on Frankfurt's TV. Thank you very much indeed. Good to see you.